wealthy okay. may face up to 61% tax rate on inherited wealth under Biden plan. That's a CNBC story. Uh, 61% of on Joe Biden tax plan, according to a recent analysis. As part, as part of his uh, American Families Plan, Biden is proposing to nearly double the top tax rate on capital gains and eliminate tax benefits on his appreciated assets, known as the step up in base, step up in basis. Combining the estate tax and a new higher capital gains rate, the repeal of step up in basis could bring total effective marginal tax rates as high as 61 percent. Are you kidding me? According to an analysis from the Tax Foundation, the rate would be the highest such rate in nearly a century. I'll give this to you and then I'm going to give a Janet Yellen update right afterwards. Go ahead. Tell us about this. Well, it's, it's asinine. There's not really much to talk about. It's not. I mean, I'm assuming you're supportive. You're, you're really looking forward to the tax hike to 61 percent. Look, we are all a, the great social things we can do together, all the great programs. But I'm all over philanthropy. But you're going to decimate philanthropy if you do this. That's correct. I mean, if you think about the Ford, Ford's come up three times, the Ford Foundation and what it's done in this country and so many other family legacies that have mm-hmm. done things that the government wouldn't and shouldn't do. Shouldn't. I mean, there's always a place for philanthropy, but not with that tax rate. It's not. And by the way, <laughs> it's like, did, did I say China? I mean, they, they've got to love things like this. They have to. I mean, there will be people who leave. There will be people who get up and leave the country. Where not- are they going? Belize, Costa Rica. There's a bunch of places out there that you can live very no, nicely. Where, where, I, I, I mean, I, you do have to kind of live off the grid. Singapore is at the top. You put Singapore there. I mean, I mean, Sing- Singapore is definitely a place for the wealthy to live. It's not Hong Kong. You you think people are actually going to leave? I think that you would have a handful of people who left. I mean, think about, okay, September the ninth, eighteen fifty, California was admitted into the United States. Okay. Every single year since eighteen fifty, the population of California has grown dot, 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 until preliminary census data suggests 2020. There was a 70,000 some odd net loss of population in the state of California. You can't tell me that people don't try and flee high tax, high tax cities, states. Mm -hmm. But what if it's the country? 1850 till 2020, it's grown. It stopped 170 years later, 2020. Shout out to Gavin Newsom. Oh, God. I mean, give me back that electoral vote. Okay, let's take a vote. One of you, 57, now 56, or something like that. It's, um, Kai, how many were, did they that's have? That's exactly right. If you, look at, if you look at California losing a seat, that's exactly right. That's exactly. And they, you they, Major they, Williams, they our guy, needs to use that stat right there. Who's this? Major Williams needs to use that stat yeah. right there. Yeah. Shout out to Major. Speaking okay, baby, of your, who's speaking out? Speaking of your man crush, where does Elon Musk hang his hat? Austin, Texas. Crush. That's true. In Boca Chica. Boca Raton, Boca Chica, there it is. But think about it. I don't think anyone's moving to say When you said a handful, are you literally saying a handful? Like how many people are leaving the country because of this? Genuine question. Who's going to Singapore? Some people are going to Puerto Rico these days, but that's still Some part of the country. Some business models you can move. Some business models you cannot Eduardo move. Eduardo Severin? It's True. the truth. True. Mm-hmm. Some people are moving to Puerto Rico. Like, hey, Pat, come to Puerto Rico. Be part of the 420 program. Pay only 4% taxes for 20 years. Our model doesn't work. Yeah. We, we, I wouldn't be able to go over there anyways. But I know a lot of hedge fund managers who've gone there. Sure. I, I know. But and that's all they need is a computer. That's that's the difference. Certain jobs you can. I pay taxes in every state I'm appointed in. Yeah. Mm. I'm still paying tax in California. Every every quarter, they come, hey, Pat, here's the cut the taxes. Check, 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 check. You know, I'm, you know look, what I'm talking I, about. I'm yep. not saying it's the right thing to do. And by the way, it's, I mean, talk about the midterms. I mean... If if they if they try and raise taxes to this extent, mm-hmm. the midterms will be even. So uglier. you don't think it's going to go to sixty one? You don't think this is going to pass? I I can't see it happen. I can't see Mansion letting it happen. So so are you familiar with the Reagan Tax Act? Uh, uh, what was it in nineteen eighty six? Do you know the numbers on what he did? Yeah, David Stockman trickle down economics. But do you know economics? what he did? Do you know actually the numbers what he did? No, you know I, the but numbers I, what he but did. I, but I know he. I know the capital gains change released released dollars that ran into both philanthropy and venture capital as a historical fact. So he brought ordinary income. Kai, help me out here. He brought ordinary income from 50 to 28. He raised lo- lowest marginal tax rate from 11 to 15. Okay, 
and he brought uh, uh, capital gains to 28. Everything was 28, 28, and the lowest went from 11 to 15 is what Reagan did. Mm -hmm. And it passed, right? And obviously, a couple years later, they have some changes to it, but he brought from 50 to 28. To go to 61% here, I mean, this is catastrophic if this passes. If it passes, say it does pass, if it passes, you're talking about people leaving to another country. You know, when I hear the story about people leaving to another country, it reminds me when Democrats said, if Trump gets elected, I'm moving to Canada. Okay, look, yeah. I, I'm, not, you know I'm, I'm, I'm not saying it's the right thing to do, and I'm not saying that big names will do it. But the hedge but fund saying, guys, some I'm, podcasters, I'm, yeah. some engineers, some coders. I'm saying people, people who have enough wealth to care, but they can do their job, as you say, anywhere. Vulcan, I'm out of here. Yeah. 60%? So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.